Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show how you can do K nearest neighborhood analysis using R. In order to evaluate the accuracy of the K nearest neighborhoods or KNN algorithm, we need to determine the appropriate value of K and we generally perform cross validation using either the holdout method or the K fold method to determine the appropriate value of K. Most data mining packages in R allow for the k-fold cross-validation method, which when compared with the holdout method is less sensitive to how the data are partitioned. Therefore, in R we only need to divide the data set into two partitions, training and validation, and implement the k-fold cross-validation. Depending on the amount of data available when cross-validation is performed, most practitioners partition the data into either 60% training, 40% validation, or 70% training, 30% validation. For this analysis, we are going to use GIM dataset and we will partition the GIM dataset into two partitions, 60% for training and 40% for validation, and then implement a 10-fold cross-validation technique. Before we start importing the data, I want to briefly talk about the dataset. Here on the screen, you see the dataset and we have two worksheets. One is GIM and the other one is GIM score. And here the GIM dataset is composed of 1000 past open house attendees and GIM score worksheet includes 23 new open house attendees. The data include the age and the annual income of the attendee, the average number of hours that the attendee exercises per week. And for only GIM dataset, we also have an enroll column which represents whether or not the attendee purchases a membership. Here we are interested in a model that will help us identify attendees who are likely to purchase a membership. Therefore we will perform KNN analysis to estimate a classification model and then evaluate its performance. And finally we are going to score new record. Let's first set our working directory and then we are going to import the gym data into a data frame and label it my data. My data is equal to read.csv and then gym.csv and control enter. So we have here 1000 observations and four variables. For KNN estimation and the resulting performance measures and diagrams, we install and load the caret, gains and prog packages. I have already right here installed that packages, caret, gains, and piro. And then we are going to press Ctrl, Enter. And in order to activate the packages, we use the library function. On some computers, you might also need to install other packages that support the caret package using this command in green. Okay, install that packages, caret, dependencies, depends and suggest and also if prompted by R Studio, install and load car packages too. So we have all the packages that we need for KNN analysis and next we use the scale function to standardize the age, income and hours variables and store the standardized values in a new data frame called my data one. So let's do that my data one is equal to scale and from my data data set, not all of them, from column 2 and 4. And then control enter. And next we are going to append the original enroll variable back to my data 1. We use the s.factor function to convert the target variable, which is in this case enroll, into a categorical data type. So let's do that. Let's first append enroll my data one is equal to data dot frame my data one comma my data enroll and then control enter now as you see my data one has now four variables so let's check our my data one data frame and here you see the column heading is mydata.enroll. In order to simplify the R code, we use the call names function to rename the enroll column from mydata.enroll to enroll. So let's use call names function. Here we are going to say call names 
my data one and we are going to get four from that and that's equal to enroll and then control enter let's go check now you see the column is enroll next we use the s dot factor function to convert the target variable enroll into a categorical data type so my data one dollar sign we want enroll is equal to s dot factor my data one enroll and then control enter to partition the data into 60% training and 40% validation sets, we use create data partition function and specify enroll as the target variable. To ensure consistency, we use the set.seed function to set the random seed to 1. So here the idea of using set.seed is equal to 1 is in fact to have a consistent results every time we run this algorithm. So let's type set dot seed one and then control enter and next we are going to partition our data set let's call my index is equal to create data partition from carrot package and then we want my data one and roll this is our target variable and our partition p is equal to 0 0.6 and then we choose list is equal to false so let's try to understand this the data set with this command partition into 60 percent for training and 40 percent for validation with the option p is equal to 0.6 and then control enter now we are going to assign 60 percent of it to train set train set is equal to my data one my index and then we will create a validation set is equal to my data one negative my index and comma negative my index comma and then control enter so here we assign 60% of the data to train set and 40% of the data assigned to validation set. In order to maintain the same ratio of target and non-target class cases for both the training and validation data sets, R partitions 601 cases into training data set and 399 cases into validation set. Next, we are going to use train control function to implement a 10-fold cross-validation by setting the option method equal to CV and the option number equal to 10. So we are going to enter here my control is equal to train control is another function from carry package method is equal to CV and then number is equal to 10 and then control enter we use the expand.grid function to specify possible k values from 1 to 10 and store the results in an object called my grid the optimal k value is determined based on accuracy the possible range of k values may vary you may experiment with a different range by changing the numbers in the statement so we will type here my grid is equal to expand.grid and next dot k is equal to c 1 to 10 and then control enter to implement the knn method with the training data set we use the train function and store the results in an object called knn fit to ensure consistency of the cross validation results we again use the set seed function to fix a random seed so first let's set c to 1 and next we create an object called knn fit is equal to train function from the caret enroll is our target variable and then dot all other predictors data is equal to train set and method is equal to 
KNN and next TR control is equal to my control and then tune grid is equal to my grid and that's it let's click on control enter and now KNN fit is already created under environments pane and let's type here KNN fit and then control enter so as you see on the screen in this train function and role is specified as a target variable and KNN is specified as the classification method and you can see the results on the console pane and you can see the accuracies with different k's and here as obvious from the screen the value k is equal to 5 produces the highest accuracies so from now on we apply the KNN model which uses k is equal to 5 on the validation data set using the predict function and then we use the confusion matrix function to create a confusion matrix let's do that KNN class is equal to predict using KNN fit and then new data is going to be the validation data set and then control enter and let's create our confusion matrix confusion note that in this confusion matrix formula we identify class 1 or people, customers enrolled in the gym as the positive or success class. In other situations, the positive class may be different. Also, the enroll variable in the validation set is identified as the target variable. So you can see the relevant output on the console pane. The confusion matrix results from the validation set indicate a high classification accuracy of 0 0.9148, sensitivity of 0. 9255 and specificity of 0 0.9076 so this is how you can perform KNN analysis using R and also how to get a confusion matrix thank you for watching this video